median prices in the HDB market drop for the eighth consecutive month. The SRX property index shows that the downturn in the HDB market is more significant than that of the private resale market. On today's show, we go to Topayo, the home of HDB, to find out what's behind these trends. Next on XTV with your host, Mark Loon. Good day, this is Mark Loon reporting live from Topayo with the HDB Hub right behind me. According to the SRX Property Index, HDB prices continued to slide in September. But there's some positive news for residents of Bukit Panjang and Topayo HDB towns. Both towns posted a positive median transaction over X value, or TOX, in September. In Bukit Panjang, the average buyer paid $5,500 above the computer-generated X value, while in Topayo, he or she paid $2,500 above the X value. According to srx.com.sg, Topayo is framed by a Bishan flyover to the north, Thompson Road to the west, PIE to the south, and CTE to the east. Topayo is close to the centre of Singapore. As you can see from the SRX property heat map, it isn't as expensive as its neighbours, Queenstown and Bukit Mirah to the south. But Topayo is above average in terms of median price. SRX property reports that, in September, the median price for a three-room flat in Topayo was $320,000. Four-room flats traded at $455,500. SRX Property reports that the median price for executive flats in Topayo in September was $870,000. I'm with Jesse Tan of ERE. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Mark. So, what makes Topayo a popular location to live in? Well, Topayo is located in the central region of Singapore. Ever since the shift of Housing and Development Board permits from Bukit Merah to Topayo Hub in 2002, demand for HDB flat in Topayo has been on the rise. First of all, uh, Topayo is a self-contained mature estate. It has um, inexpensive shopping and subsidised entertainment facility such as Safra, swimming complex and uh, stadium and gym. And yet it is well connected by public transport to all parts of Singapore. It takes less than 10 minutes by MRT to reach the city centre for more luxury spending. Secondly, over the years, many industrial and commercial development were established in Topayo. Thus, this provides residents with job opportunity close to home. So lastly, older HDB flats in Topayo tend to be bigger in size, therefore more space for comfortable living for all. Therefore, to sum it up, residents in Topayo get to enjoy the best of both worlds, the high-end and cheap entertainment within a short travelling time. So Jesse, in your opinion, why do you think Topayo has outperformed other HDB towns for the month of September? Well, um, a bit of history. At the end of uh, last quarter of 2012, I transact an executive mansion in Topayo at 909000 and that was almost 200 k above the X value. But ever since the cooling measure, an average executive mansion in Topayo is transacting only at 780 to 800k, which is very close to X value. And that's the reason why many buyers are using this opportunity to grab a unit within this strategically prime location at a lower price to benefit from its convenience. Secondly, Topayo is a prime location. Many sellers are reluctant to leave this area, so there's usually stronger demand as compared to supply. In other words, in a non-mature estate such as Sengkang, Pongo, a buyer probably view 30 to 40 units before going into a negotiation and selecting their unit. In contrast, in mature estate like Topayo, buyer only view probably 10 units and they need to make a decision out of the 10. Therefore, we, we still see resale transaction in Topayo moving more quickly than any other town, as buyer really need to snatch up the unit if they really want to live in this prime location. So thank you for your time, Jesse. Thank you, Mark. Despite the positive TOX in Topayo as well as Bukit Panjang, the overall HDB market is dropping faster than prices in the private market. In a minute, we will try to find out why. But first, the property news. According to the Singapore Real Estate Exchange, SRX, HDB resale prices dropped for the eighth consecutive month. The drop in HDB resale prices slowed slightly in September. From July to August, the drop was 1.1%. From August to September, the decline was 0.5%. Demand for HDB flats increased 10.7%. According to SRX Property, 1,469 HDB flats were sold in August. However, 
Monthly resales are still slow on an historical basis. Monthly resales are down 59.7% since the peak in volume of May 2010. The market's median transaction over X value, or TOX, inched up $1,000 on increased demand to a negative $2,000. In September, HDB prices were down. In September, HDB prices were down 8.9% since the peak in April 2013. In contrast, private resale flats were down only 5.6% since the peak in January 2014. Why is the price decline in the HDB market outpacing that of the private resale market for non-landed homes? To answer this question, we turn to a professional. And here with me is Victor Koo from Propnex. So Victor, what makes Topayo a popular place to live in? I think if you're looking at the map, Topayo is uh, in the centre of the whole Singapore. It's very easy for you to get to many places. And you look at the town itself, uh, it's full of amenity. Uh, there's a lot of food centre. Uh, there's a lot of uh, other amenity that are supporting uh, their everyday need. You know. So also served by two MRT and all within walking distance. It's very convenient. So Victor, in your opinion, why do you think Topayo is outperforming the other HDB towns in terms of um, transaction over X value? Okay, I guess it's all because of demand and supply. Uh, there are many other estates, there's a lot of supply, but the demand is not there. But since uh, just now I mentioned all the good points about Topayo, the demand is there. So demand meet with the supply, so the transaction volume increases. Um, in fact, uh, a little bit lacking behind the demand. So the tenant, um, the buyer, will have to pay a little bit extra to get what they want. Yeah. Thank you, Victor, for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, Mark. So in summary, the government has increased supply by putting BTOs on the market at lower than market price. Not only does this put downward pressure on overall prices, but it also causes more resale HDB flats to be put on the market. More flats for sale means more downward pressure on price. As a result, prices in the HDB market have dropped more than those in the private resale market. And that concludes today's show. Thank you for watching XTV. For all the numbers in this week's episode of the SRX HDB Report, please visit our website at srx.com.sg slash price index and check out our home pages, Fresh New Look. See you next week when we present to you the SRX Private Resale Report. For all of us at SRX Property and XTV, have a good day.